community, it's a neighborhood. You know what I mean? Like I, I live in Pelham Gardens and that's a neighborhood and Indian Village, you know, we're, we're the same community, but they're two different neighborhoods. So, you know what I mean? So we, you have to give, you know, privilege to the folks who live around there. So we stand by, we're gonna sort of follow what the co-op co city uh, community is looking for. Uh, the second matter is the councilman is chair of the Juvenile Justice Committee. Uh, councilman Joe and I also sits on that uh, small committee. So we have oversight of uh, you know, sort of a major uh, policy implementation that's going into effect on Monday, which is what's called the Raise the Age Reforms. Uh, the state had made it so that 16 and 17 year olds, which were largely treated as adults within the criminal justice system, are now sort of going to be treated as adolescents just the way a, a 15 year old would. So there's a lot of different things that literally today, tomorrow, there's some youth that are being moved from Rikers to different facilities and things like that. Um, we had an oversight hearing last week. Councilman Joe and I, I think, agrees with my boss that you know we have a lot of concerns with the city's process of implementation right now. One of the major things, um, I know Councilman Torres has also sort of spoke about this, is that for a year and a half, they're gonna be using corrections officers in these non-correction facilities, which are gonna be youth facilities. And so there's this issue right now that you're taking corrections officers and now sort of telling them that now you have different regulations, you have a different, it's a whole different system. They gave them sort of like about a week of training and saying, you know, you a corrections officer have to go sort of act as, as a counselor now. So we've all sort of been raising a lot of concerns and I thank you guys for your time. Adam, before you leave, yep. um, the trip, the TA property that um, I guess the project was stopped thanks to the councilman's assistance. The TA is not doing, taking any action. It's so dirty. I actually have made a complaint. And could you have somebody check on it? I mean, uh, we, we